If you are new here, me and my husband Billy are converting this Sprinter van by ourselves into a tiny home. So as you saw in a previous video, we had bought flares from Flare Space, so we are able to have our bed rotated perpendicular in the van and sleep sideways. That way we have more room in the van itself. We also ended up buying Flare Space's bed system, their trim rings, and their custom mattress to be able to fit in there perfectly. So in this video, we were going on a camping trip, so we wanted to at least get it all set up even if it's temporary so we installed the bed system which was super easy to install so that we could use it as well as upholster the inside of the flares themselves that was a little bit more challenging we've never done upholstery before and looking back it might have been easier to upholster the flares before even putting them on the van we didn't do that so i can't say for sure that that's the way to go but if we were to do it again we'd probably do it that way so tomorrow we're gonna leave for a trip and this is what our van looks like. We're currently installing some of the kill mat just to see if it helps cut down on the road noise. We're also going to start installing our flare system, the bed system. So we have this sheet metal here, which this acts as the structure that's gonna help us secure the bed system to the flares. So we're installing the kill mat underneath where the metal sheets are going. Flare space didn't recommend this. We're just doing this as extra protection to buffer where the metal will be rubbing on the metal. All right, so we held the flare in place. Basically put the flare in like so. And when we mount the sheet metal here, we don't want it to be above where this flare is going to sit. So we took a straight edge, this piece of wood, held it here, and made a mark there. And made a mark over there, and that's the, going to be the top of this sheet metal. Now, when we go to put the sheet metal up, it's got a couple notches. One for this pillar here, and one for the back pillar. See there, there, over here. That up, it kind of stops you where you need to be between the pillar here. Our sharpie mark is right there. That's where we want to be. And that's pretty much flush to the top of this cutout for the flare. Now we're going to drill a hole in the middle here. Try to hit this I beam there and then put a rivet in it. It gets six rivets on this whole piece. So we'll drill a hole and see how that does. Oops. Never used this before, so let's see how it does. It's doing nothing. wonder if this flare is supposed to be up like that or down like that. Would you do it again? Up like that or down like that. It's got wiggle room. This end is not. What well, looks more level? It looks more even. Lean up and then follow in these lines. See that looks more correct. I think we're gonna do that. <laughs> up here grab this board now I got this flushed here I'm just gonna transfer this mark over to that side over to that side that will give me 
the mark. I will hold this up to our mark, and my mark on this side is a little bit lower. I don't know why Flare Space did it like this, but they made these edges squared right here for this cutout, and this needs to be cut back. I don't want this rubbing up against this here. So I'm gonna take my grinder and cut those two edges back so that it's not in contact with that A pillar. <laughs> You can see we got a gap here now. It's not touching. You know, I got I read it my mark. We got gaps. That's what we want. Now we're going to pre-drill through the metal and hit it with some rustoleum. Then we'll put the rivet in that hole. We're gonna try and figure out how to upholster our flares. <laughs> Wish us luck. Billy's smiling. Have we done upholstery before? So this is gonna be a learning curve. Let's read the instructions. Do we need a spray? the adhesive P300 onto the actual layer and then lightly spray it on the back of this. Let it set up for a second and then apply it. I'm just trying to figure out if it's better to cut this to size or just flex it all in. Probably flex it all in. And cut it off And then after. cut it after. You can make like a piece of cardboard so I can like spray and hold the cardboard in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You just hold it at the top? Yeah, you just hold it at the top. Yeah, you need some. Two people. <laughs> Since in this, it covers up the edges, and that needs to get upholstered. Yep, it can get upholstered, it doesn't have to. We should have. She, we could have upholstered it before we put the flare in. Yeah, I was wondering that. And then we just left it so the flanges had room. Because then you could have done it before your window even went in. That'd be way easier. If I do it again, that's how I would do it. You 
guess it worked. The dilemma was once you put the foam and the fabric on, this really has to suck tight in order to uh, get it to go, but it seems to be going. Yeah. Keep trying, and if worst case scenario, I have to cut the foam out and just let the fabric hang there. Ooh. Upholstery is a lot harder than it looks, especially in a flare. Probably on a fat, flat surface, it's gonna be a lot easier. That was not, you can see we got a lot of imperfections. It'll do, if we wanna change it down the road, we can. So this is flare spaces, wall, bracket, for the bed system. In order to install it, we measured out first the length of where we wanted to come to, which was 56 and a half. And we hold it off in the corner of where we put the sheet metal, which is right at this weld in the corner of the sprinter van. Next, we measure down our height. We know that the bed platform itself is an inch and a half thick. So we want to pull down an inch and a half to where that's where a bed platform will sit. We make a sharpie mark. Now that we have that marked, we're gonna hold this up there, even with our sharpie mark, and make sure our edge is lined up on this side. So once we have that done, we're gonna take our sharpie and mark four holes under here where it will get screwed through where we're gonna drill. We have our four holes drilled to where we got these screws. They're like, kind of like self-tapping screws. They're gonna bite in to the sheet metal of the van, but also through this heavy-duty steel that Flare Space provided. So as you can see, we are also starting to mess with the electrical, which is the most fun part of the van build. 